Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here with Help Automation. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to quickly and easily set up a, a squeeze page uh, that you can utilize inside of your business. So, and it's very, very simple inside of Kartra. And over here on the left, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click My Pages. Okay. And this video is a continuation of a video series uh, that we've created to literally walk you through step by step on how to build out an entire automated sales funnel. We're, we're showing you how to build everything out and then how to wire it all together. And again, the beauty of this is that it's all done here inside of the Kartra platform. It's all done in one place. Uh, for many years, I was running my business online and I had you know, four or five, I believe I was running seven different tools all at once uh, to actually build out an automated uh, workflow, an automated system for my business. And the beauty of Kartra is that you can do everything for your business all in one place. So again, uh, there'll be links below this video highlighting all the different uh, training videos that we put together to show you how to fully build out your automated system. In this video, we're showing you how to set up your pages, okay? And again, if you don't already have Kartra, there'll be a link below this video where you can, uh, we hooked it up to where you get a $1 14-day trial of Kartra. So if you wanted to follow along uh, with the videos to build out your own automated system, you could certainly do that. Again, there'll be a link right below the video. But here we go guys, let's show you how to create a couple of pages here. And what we've done is we've clicked my pages over here on the left. And you'll see, uh, again, this it's got a very nice and easy uh, drag and drop builder. So if you've been using programs like lead pages or like ClickFunnels, maybe you've used Builderall uh, or other, other website builders, a lot of them are now drag and drop. So they're very simple and easy. Kartra's is very similar, but again, it's a little bit more powerful because of the fact that it's all integrated in one place. So let's build on a couple of pages here. Uh, over on the right, you see the Pulsating Plus. Let's go ahead and click that. And again, if you've seen our other videos, uh, we've created some lists, we've created some tags, things like that. And so based on that is how we're gonna choose the page that we're gonna build out here. But you can certainly start with a blank canvas. So again, whatever kind of page, page you wanna build, um, you can literally just click Launch Builder. And from there, you can build an entire page from scratch. Again, very easy, very drag and drop. But there's also a ton of templates that Kartra already has you know, pre-done for you. You can see all of them on the left here, squeeze pages, video sales pages, thank you pages, long sales pages, coming soon pages, all the way down the list here. Okay, membership login pages, affiliate pages, okay, your legal pages, right? So you got your uh, privacy policy terms and condition pages. You know, so if you're gonna go ahead and build out an entire website, you could use those templates. So again, there, there's all kinds of templates for you. Uh, we're gonna build an easy squeeze page and we're also gonna build a thank you page, okay? And so let's go ahead and take a look at the squeeze page templates that we have. And if you're, and again, in our previous videos, we've talked about an ebook, right? That we are gonna give to people. Um, and again, cause you may, if you're looking to generate leads and build a list, you're gonna wanna give them something in return, which is called a lead magnet. Give them something in return for their email address. So that way you can go ahead and continue to email them uh, different offers for your products and for your services. And so let's look for a squeeze page that might work for our lead magnet. So and again, scrolling down, there's all kinds of great templates here. You know, this one, you know, and again, you can click preview here to kind of take a look. This one kind of grab your spot. So it looks like it's for a webinar. You use a little timer on there and all that good stuff. Okay, so that's not really right for us. There's straight up uh, opt-in here. This one looks more like a bridge page. Okay, so let's say you're doing like an affiliate program or something like that. You could have an opt-in on a page like this and then go to the affiliate offer, okay? So it's video pages. And I'm looking at, you know, this one right here might be the one that we like because this one actually says get the uh, get the ebook free today. So let's scroll up and look at this page right here. And so it's got this page already essentially pre-done for us that we can use to give away our ebook. So let's go ahead and use this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click select on it. And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click launch builder, okay? And now let's name the page, okay? So um, let's name this so we can um, download free ebook okay and again you can name it whatever you want uh, the category and again we do have some categories set up here now when we're talking about pages you could set up 
um, there's a couple things you can do. You could set up a category for your pages and you could also select a site, okay? Which is another way to organize all the different pages that might be attached to a particular website. So for our purposes now, we're not gonna worry about setting up a category for this. So I'll just put no particular category. And for the site, I'll put no site in particular. Okay, as we get to the point where we've embedded a custom domain and we're using one particular website, and perhaps you know you want this download page attached to your to your to your website. You know, you could do that. And again, when you have all your pages set up, it's an easy way to organize all your pages that are attached to a specific domain, but we're not gonna worry about that just yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna put no category in particular, no site in particular for now. Let's go ahead and click create. And it's gonna load up the page builder. And it's gonna load up that template that we just took a look at. Okay, so here's our template. And this, again, the beauty of this is look at, look at this. This thing is already basically set up for us. Um, all we need to do is come through here and change the text and set everything up. So, you know, again, again, this, and again, it's very simple, very drag and drop. You know, there's all kinds of different sections and components that you can add to this if you are building from scratch, okay? Uh, but again, with this template, we don't necessarily need to do a, a ton except for just adjust the text that's on the page. So we can adjust this here, you know, uh, you know, download our free ebook to help you grow your business. Okay, I'll just delete all that out of there. Okay. And then you can put a couple of the different things that they're gonna learn. Oop, I didn't mean to copy that, so I can click undo, okay. And so what I wanted to do is just change the text in this little section right here, okay? So you could edit the style here, you could edit the text here. And you know, you could put in here the things that they're gonna learn in the book. So let's say they're gonna learn about, you know, how to gen lead generation, okay? And then from there you could describe, you know, how, what is it, what is it they're gonna learn? So learn how to generate leads using social media. Okay, if that's the case. Um, you could put, you know, you could put in here, you know, quali uh, qualifying customers. You know, and again, this is, you know, you're just kind of describing what they're gonna get out of the book or out of the free download. So, you know, learn how to properly screen your customers and book more strategy calls, okay? You can learn our process, learn our four-step process, right? <laughs> to get more booked, to keep, I'll just make it simple, to keep your calendar full, okay? Okay, so again, just short and sweet. And now, again, there's got a little, it looks like they're holding like a little tablet right here. I could go ahead and click this, and let's say, I'm gonna hover the mouse right here because I just wanna change the, um, Again, you can edit the style, okay? So I can click this little pencil right here and I could uh, edit the effect here. Uh, I could have this you know, move and things like that. I don't necessarily wanna do that. I wanna click and edit this right here. And this would be where I could replace the picture. So again, let's say you had a picture of your ebook or a picture of you know, whatever, whatever it is you wanna use. Um, you can come into there, you can click image right here and you could edit that image and pop a picture in there. Okay, so I could just, you know, just for an example, I'll grab a book, okay? Hit enter, and okay, so we'll just use one of these. Again, you'd wanna use the picture of your ebook or, or, or the cover of your ebook, but I'll just add it here just to show you how we can easily change it. Select it, and then click confirm. Over here, click apply. And you can see that it added that to the page, right? So again, you'd want it to actually be a picture of whatever it is they're downloading, okay? 
And then from there, the rest of the page is essentially set up. You know, you got your um, header here uh, to get their attention to click the button here to download. Okay, and then you could put a couple testimonials here if you wanted to. Okay, for now, let's go ahead and get rid of these. If I wanted to get rid of them, I could just click these X right here. Click the X right here. Okay, and again, I like those. Okay, so again, if you had testimonials, um, people that have downloaded your book in the past or those that have worked with you in the past, you could again put their info in there. And then from there, change this text accordingly. Down here, you wanna change, put your company name in there or your website, all rights reserved, have all that straightened out. Um, from here, the button, okay? So how do they actually download your ebook? You click this right here and you see where it says edit style, click the pencil there. And this is where you can choose what happens when they click this button, okay? So perhaps, and again, you could change the text, you know, download now. You could change the icon. You see the little icon it's got over here. There's a bunch of different choices you can have. And then there's a link right here. And this is where you would choose, you know, what you want to have happen when they click that button. So perhaps you want them to go ahead and opt in. So you can have a, it populate or pop up an opt-in form that they could use. They fill out the form and then they go to what's called a thank you page to download your ebook. So for now, okay, because we haven't created the form yet. So we'll have to come back and add a form here if we wanted to do that. Um, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this as none for now. We're gonna come back and we're gonna tweak this once we've created our form. So I'm just gonna click apply and leave that as is for now. We'll come back to this. So that way we can, when we get to the point where we're kind of wiring everything together. Okay, but we built this page out. Okay, good enough for now. Over here where it says actions, I'm gonna click the arrow and I'll save my progress just in case I lag out or something happens. Okay. And then from there, I'm gonna click that again. I'm gonna click publish live to make this page live and, and available for somebody to land on, okay? Again, if you don't publish it live, then the page isn't actually out there on the internet for someone to gain access to. Now, and right here, okay, I can click where it says get the page link. And this is where it'll give me, you know, the page link. Right, if I had a custom domain set up, like let's say I've embedded a custom domain, let's say alphaautomation.net, you know, this is where I'd be able to go ahead and change that link, but we haven't yet uploaded a custom domain. Again, we'll cover that in another training video, a separate training video. But for now, this link would get them to this page, okay? And I'll click close, and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click return to dashboard. Okay, we've already saved everything, so I can go ahead and exit to the dashboard and we'll see that this page is now here so we now have this page but we also need a download page since we're giving them an ebook you know we want them we want an opt-in form we'll eventually need to create an opt-in form that they can put in their name and email but we're also going to need a thank you page or for them to be able to get your download so let's go ahead and make a thank you page let's click the plus over here again And let's create a thank you page. So let's, let's select template. Let's go to thank you pages. And then let's find a nice template here for our ebook. And again, there's all kinds of different templates. You know, you could have a template where, you know, you got a video on there and then you could give them instructions. You could put the button right here to download it. So we could use a template like this, where like, let's say you wanted to have a video that says, hey, thanks for downloading our ebook. It's really gonna help you do this and that and this and that. And if you're interested, you know, after you download this, review it, use it in your business. And you can, you can give them further instruction if you wanted to. Um, if you want this to just be simply a straight up download page, you know, there's some other templates here that work, will work just fine. Okay, so let's, let's grab one that's just really basic, just a download page. And so this one right here looks okay. And let's scroll it up. And it looks like this is a straight up, thank you for registering, and there's our download for our book. So let's use that. Okay, so let's scroll down here. And we're gonna use this one, select. Scroll back up and then click Launch Builder. And this is gonna be Download Free Ebook. And see how it populated that for me? Thank you page, or I'll put Download Page. Okay. And we're gonna leave the category blank for now. No particular category, no particular site for now. Once we embed a custom domain, I, 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 again, I like to keep everything all together. Because again, you can make what's called global changes. You know, let me actually just create, I'll show you what I mean. So let's create this page right here. Okay, so here's our template for our thank you page. 
And again, nice and easy. Okay, so we can set this up. If, again, if you wanna have your logo here, you can. You can click uh, edit style and then you could add your image right there. So if you had a logo, you could add that in there. Uh, for now, I'm actually just gonna hit the X and let's go ahead and get rid of that for now. Okay, and I'm gonna change this text and just say thank you for your interest. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then I'll just put here the instructions. Click uh, button below to download. Okay. All right, and you could pop your picture in. So again, uh, you want to have things match. You know, the more congruent your uh, thank you page is with your um, landing page the better so that way people recognize and they know that they're in the right spot so if you use a picture on that first page you want to make sure to use it again here and so I would just click this little uh, edit here we can choose the image and we use this is the book that we used okay and obviously you'd want it to be a, a picture of the cover of the actual ebook that they're downloading go ahead and click apply and there it is again and then um, that's it, okay? And then as far as like the download here, okay, once you have the actual PDF or whatever the file is uploaded um, to your Kartra system, you'd be able to go ahead and click the edit style right here. And then you would change the link, okay? So it's not sending them somewhere else. You would have it go ahead and download a file. Okay, and we haven't yet uploaded a file for download, but this is exactly where you'd do it. And once you upload a file, you'd be able to go ahead and select the category, okay? And then you'd go ahead and select your file, okay, which would have its own name. But this is exactly where you'd find it. This is where you'd see it. And then you would go ahead and click apply, okay? But since we haven't uploaded any files yet to this cartridge system, we're gonna leave it as none, we'll click apply. But it'd be just as simple as that. Again, obviously you wanna make sure to set your footer and everything to um, you know, say everything proper in here. And then uh, you'd be good to go with this thank you page. Uh, we can go ahead and click save right here. And then from there, go ahead and click publish live to activate and make this page live, okay? And again, here would be the link to this particular page. If we had a custom domain already set up with here, this is where you'd also edit. You could, um, like let's say I was using alphaautomation.net slash, I can name the page whatever I want. So as you create, add a, embed a custom domain to your cartridge system, this would be where you'd edit uh, the link itself. You would just click right here and then you could edit it, okay? But for now, this is the link that will get them to uh, that particular page. Let me click that. Sorry, this is the link that'll get them to this page. And this will be the page that, you know, let me go ahead and just go back. Okay, now we'll go back to we publish live. So now we'll return to dashboard here. And so in the next step, when we create our form, okay, uh, so when they come to this main page to download your ebook, we're gonna have that button pop a form. And then once they fill out the form, we'll have them uh, be redirected to this thank you page here to actually download your ebook, okay? And another thing, obviously we have this picture congruent, but since I'm using kind of the black strip here, right on this page, I would probably wanna go ahead and change this here to again, just add some more congruency to it. Uh, but again, for simplicity, we can kind of leave it as is. You've got your download page, your, your, your landing page, and then from there you got the download page for your free ebook. In the next video, we'll take the next step of uh, setting up the form and then from there integrating the form to kind of connect these pages together. Okay, but that's all for this video, guys. We'll see you in the next training.